Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February favourites. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I know I haven't got my nails painted, but that's because I've kind of given up on nail polish. I just bite it off, so I'm kind of, yeah. If I can be bothered to do it, I'll do it, but I don't feel like it's urgent. So, the first thing I have been uh, loving, so to speak, um, is I started wearing foundation again kind of on days where I felt like I needed it um, and I've also broken a lot out a lot around my head so I was kind of covering that up so the two things I've been using are first of all this Olay um, foundation like tinted moisturizer basically and um, if I show you and uh, if you can see it's a little bit too uh, dark for me so what I've been mixing it with is this foundation cream by Barry M and this is so good um, it's basically if I just show you it's basically just a white cream it's almost like white face paint but you mix it in with your foundation and it just lightens it which for me is really handy because you know I've told you time and time again I find it really hard to find a foundation that matches my skin tone because I'm such a funny skin tone so this has been my kind of like my go-to combination the only problem with that is you have to make sure you blend it really well because it can lead to like really obvious foundation lines and stuff um, but yeah but I don't wear that every day I only wear it on days when I feel like it the second product um, to go with that is the L'Oreal True Match um, what is this called? the Super Blendable Powder so yeah it just looks like this um, this is one of the L'Oreal products you can get in Japan um, and I've just been using this to set my foundation so that's what that looks like um, next is the Bourjois Highlighting Powder um, I recently like rediscovered this and I, I'm going to say it's a favourite just because I have been using it every day. I'm not, still not really sure if it really works because it's not like a normal highlight. It's like, um, I don't even know how you describe this because when you put it on your skin, it kind of just gives it this like gold-ish, 3D-ish effect. It doesn't really highlight so to speak, but I do like it and so that was probably the worst describing of a favourite ever, but we're going to run with it. Um, and I have still been obsessed with, I've talked about this so much, but my Revlon Bear It All um, Lustrous Lotion in Buff Love. This is amazing. I'm sure you've all seen this before, but basically I use this as my, oh that was way too much. I use this as my highlighting powder, powder, um, like cream. Just rub it onto the tops of my cheeks and then it gives a really nice sheen, which you probably can't see on camera. But that is so good and I'm so in love with it. Um, then for blush, I've been wearing two blushes. The first one was one I actually bought at the beginning of this month, and it is by the brand Etouffe, I think. Um, and this is kind of a weird blush because it comes with the bottom comes off and it comes off with a little powder brush, which or a sponge even. Which at first I thought, oh, that's really gross. It's really unhygienic. But I actually really like the way this applies it because it applies it heavy enough that you can then blend it out and use it so you go like this and actually the reason why I bought this blush is because I wanted one I could just keep in my makeup bag and the fact that this comes with a brush and um, this colour is pink 2 um, which is kind of a or more of an orangey colour than I normally wear but um, yeah I've really been liking this the second blush, which I've worn so much that I've finally hit pan on it, is my Revlon Pink Blush. And it just looks like this. It has quite a bit of glitter in it. Um, but it's just like a really nice pinky colour. Though I swear this has kind of changed colour because I swear it used to be more pink and now it's going orange. But um, I don't know, maybe that's just me going crazy. Probably is. Um... Oh, I didn't mention this before. Um, my Max Factor. Oh, I've dropped it on the floor. Oh. My Max Factor Master Touch Under Eye Concealer. Look, you can see how much I've used of it. I have like none of it left, which is really gutting because I can't buy this here. I can only buy it in England, and it's like really worn out and gross. I just kind of dab it on my finger and then rub it under my eyes, and it does a really good job. So, we're liking this, but I don't want to use it all up, so I'm trying to be sparing with it, but it's really not working very well. Um, 
eyes, my eyeshadows have pretty much been the same, so I'm not going to talk about them. And then I've rediscovered my Maybelline gel liner, and I'm so in love with it because it stays on so well. Uh, I just use the brush that it comes with to apply it, which is this one here. And yeah, it's been amazing. And then, um, yes, falsies. I've fallen back in love with this again, though this one's kind of drying up. But, um, oh, oh, that was so close. But yes, I'm sorry, I know I'm not in the frame, but because this camera, the tripod I bought for my camera, finally I bought myself a tripod, but it's just a bit too short. It's really annoying because my chair doesn't go down anymore, so whatever. Then the lip product, I've, I won't say I've been loving this, but I've used it more than I'd expect. I'm actually wearing it at the moment on my lips. And it is the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the colour Dolly Pink. And it just looks... This Mine's actually really blunt at the moment, but it's this really pretty pink colour. I've kind of been wearing this on... I've kind of been wearing this on my lips as is, or I will add a lipstick over the top if I want it to be a bit stronger or I'll put some lip balm over it if I want it to be a bit weaker and so this is really good for like multi-purposes um yeah I really like it the one last product I want to talk about is my sexual fantasies fireworks um moisturizing body lotion I am so obsessed with this basically it's meant to smell of strawberries peaches and vanilla this is, this is amazing, seriously. So amazing. So yeah, those were my February favourites. It was quite short. Well, seven minutes short. I'm actually wearing my school uniform so you can see what that looks like. If you guys want me to do a video on like what I wear to school, because I do wear like business attire. Um, yeah, I did try to film my everyday makeup tutorial the other day, but it was such a fail that I'm going to refilm it sometime uh, soon. And... Yeah, I think this is good lighting. You have to tell me, but I think this is where my lighting is staying. I've kind of moved again back to where I used to sit. But now I've got a tripod, it's infinitely better. So yeah, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video.